Construction of Columbus's new judicial center set to be built right across the street from the State George Theater of Georgia, the Springer Opera House. In wake of the plan, staff at that historic theater are expressing a, a big no to the site plan for the big project. Newsletter 9's Gabriella Johnson joins us live now back in our newsroom with more on a petition that's aimed to save the future of the Springer. So Gabriella, uh, tell us more about it. Well, Jason, in just a week, the petition created by the Springer Opera House Executive Director, Danielle Varner, has more than half of the needed signatures for support, and more than just 170 signatures happening today. And it's all to express how the Springer and supporters strongly believe that the site plan will negatively impact a building that's more than 150 years old. We would never build anything in that spot that is going to detract from the natural beauty of our downtown area. On November 14th, Executive Director of the Springer Opera House created a petition called the Say No to the New Judicial Center Plan. It's only online through social media and the theater's website, and there's already more than 1,100 signatures. The Springer claims voters and stakeholders were not informed on an updated plan and, according to them, was unveiled by the City Council back in September. The claim, the new plan eliminates the existing green space on 10th Street and replaces it with the modern eight-story high rise building that hovers over multiple historic structures. According to the historical theater, the plan was poorly made, leaving a negative impact on parking, disrupting their performances, and most importantly, fearing their current foundation will shift once construction starts. But Mayor Skip Henderson says it shouldn't be a problem as the design team and construction company is considering the age of the 153-year-old building. They also changed the way they're going to put the footings in. It won't use a jackhammer. They're going to use like an auger, which will minimize the vibration. You know, bottom line is the design team, the construction team, and, and certainly the, the consolidated government are committed to trying to keep that, that, that uh, the state theater safe. Henderson says the passion from the Springer is needed for the state theater of Georgia. So they're focused on protecting it, and we are too. There are alternatives the Springer is offering, like reducing the square footage, raise additional funding, relocating, or completely renovating. So any time somebody brings a petition or even just calls us, frankly, and says, hey, we got some concerns, we're going to make sure we talk about it. We're going to make sure we provide them input and we look for a way to mitigate every concern they have. And we did reach out to the Springer Theater for comment, but they were not available, but plan to speak with us soon. Reporting in the newsroom, Gabriella Johnson for WTVM Newsleader 9. I have a feeling this debate is far from over uh, as they plan to build this new judicial center. All right, thank you very much, Gabriella. Well, other news.